Are you having trouble not launching Grand Theft Auto on Steam? Well don't worry, you're not alone. In this video I will show you on how to quickly fix this so you can start playing again. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Zeno Vision. This will be a quick step-by-step -step tutorial. Before we get started, I just want to inform you this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. If you find any value in this video, which you will, please smash the like button and hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel. We also recently opened up a Discord uh, community. Feel free to join up. So this video tutorial will be based on Steam not launching Grand Theft Auto. We're going to do a few steps for this, so let's get started right away. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up Windows Security and we're going to add an exclusion. Why? Because it could be a false positive where uh, it will block my Windows Security uh, thinking it uses too much memory. We're going to hit Virus and Threat Protection, Manage, manage Settings and we're going to add or remove an exclusion. We're going to hit Yes here and we're going to hit Add an Exclusion and we're going to hit Folder. And we're going to go to this PC. We're going to go to the uh, C disk. For in this case, if you've installed it on the normal settings, then you can just uh, uh, go to the C drive, or else, or if you've installed it somewhere else. So we're going to go to Program Files 86, or the normal if you don't have it, and we're going to go to Steam, and we're going to select this whole folder. As you can see it is added okay and i also have my rockstars games uh folder and my 5m you can try and add that too so that's the first step now you can already try and see if it's working or not uh but we can take it a step further right away and go ahead and make sure our game mod is on we can close down windows security and we can go to the search bar and search for game mode and click OK on it. After you click OK, you'll get this screen. Make sure it's on. Hit graphics, and here you see everything that's already there. But as you can see, there's no Steam. So we're gonna add, bro, hit browse, and we're gonna go again to our installation uh, location of Steam. In this case, it would be with me in the C drive, program files 86. And we're going to hit Steam. And here you can add this right here. This file, Steam application. You can hit Add. And you can hit Option. And you can hit High Performance. OK. That's also done. And we can close this down. And now we can go to the next step. And we're going to open up Steam. After Steam is open, we're going to hit here on the left upper corner, Settings, and then we're going to go to Downloads right away. You'll see Account, and then Downloads. And when you're at the, the Steam Settings, you'll hit Downloads, like I said, and you're going to hit Clear Download Catch. So when you do that, it's going to restart, and you need to re-log in. After that, you can already try and start up Grand Theft Auto, but we can take it to one last step, which I'm going to show you. So Clear download catch, restart Steam, and it will tell you to log in. So, and after that, what we're going to do is we're going to close this window right here. After you launched Steam and logged in, you're going to go to your library, and here you'll have the option properties. And uh, I have Rockstar Launcher, by the way. Uh, so, not Steam, but I know it works exactly the same. And here you'll have an option with Rockstar Launcher. Uh, local files, you'll hit local files and you'll hit view, uh, verify game integrity. Like you see right here, I can do it with the Rockstar launcher, but because I have Grand Theft Auto installed on Rockstar and not on Steam, you won't have that option right here. It will say again, local files, you'll, add, you'll have here a, a, a folder added with local files, you hit it and you'll just check verify integrity. That's about it, folks. After that, it should work. If it's not working, leave a comment in this. Uh, leave a comment, and I hope I can help you further in that. And if it did work, also leave a comment, smash the like button, hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any feedback for me, they're always welcome. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.